Hey, hey, y'all. It's your girl, Shay. Welcome back to my channel. How y'all doing? I hope y'all are doing amazing. Y'all know how this go. If you've been here for a while. Hey, y'all. That's how I go. She be moving and grooving. She be doing stuff. Listen, y'all. How y'all doing? I hope y'all are doing good. I hope y'all are doing amazing. It's your girl. She here to spill the tea today. She got her bougie glass. Bougie. She got her straw. She got her um craft ice and she got her lemon slices okay this one the little garnish is a little drunk though but she still look good for the camera so y'all give a hand clap for her all right y'all y'all see i'm giving summer i'm giving summer i'm 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 channeling summer i'm channeling because i'm over this Okay, I'm over this. I'm ready, ready for my summer break. I'm ready to um, luxuriate and to live uh, my life like it's golden. Jelly from Philly. All right, y'all. So let's get into it today. So you already know the deal. We're going to get into some stuff. Put what, what I wish I knew. What I wish I knew in my teens, in my 20s, in my 30s. 30s what what do I wish that I knew okay as age comes wisdom at least it should if you're living life you should get a little wiser as these years go by and stop making the same mistakes and current on anyway put me on pause right now go get your favorite drink go get your favorite snack if you like me get that lemon water do what you need to do get your glass of wine I mean it could be like <laughs> 9 a.m. if you watch it, be so probably not wine, but it would, hey, whatever floats your boat. Look, listen, let's get into this. Let's get into this. And your girl's prepared today. I hope y'all are doing well. Shout out to all of my day ones. I love y'all. Thank you for watching. Thank you for clicking that button. Um, thank you to all of my new subscribers. Thank you so much. You could be anywhere in the world, but you're here with me, and I'm very grateful for you. I hope you found some of my videos helpful. Um... And go back and look and see if it's something that you may have missed. All right, y'all, let's go. My glasses. Because we about to read the folk today. We going to read the folk today. All right, look, what I wish I knew. Now, I may be a little on script, a little off script, but you know your girl got to have notes so she can stay streamlined. Because your girl can get off to, um, off into left field. Okay? All right, let's go. Number one. Ha! Huh. I should, I should, I should table this and call this mind, body, soul, and this definitely would be body. Let me tell you something. If I, if you lose weight, you have to work just as hard, if not harder, to keep it off. Mm. If I knew this in my twenties, if I knew this, your girls are thick them, okay? All right, for those that don't know in the crowd, a the cats are big. Girls are thickum. All right, the girl is a solid thickums. Okay, she's in a solid plus size. Um. Okay, that's your girl. Now listen, I have lost so much weight in my life, up down, up down, up down, and I share with you all um my um if you haven't watched my body image video uh self-love body image i'll list it down below link it down below so you can click on that watch that let me tell you something i was a yo-yo dieter for forever i you know i kind of had i had a little bulimic cycle going on had a little disordered eating i yeah i had things going on okay had i known that i had to keep it up i thought once i lost it that was it i could go back to the same old regular smuggler no no no, and when I was younger, the, the health and fitness and diet culture was a little bit different. You had Metabolife, you had Slim Fast, you had Jenny Craig, you had Weight Watchers. You didn't have, you didn't really take things into your own hands, if you understand what I'm saying. Like you didn't have keto, you didn't have all these other things that kind of like gave you food plan guides along the way. You had to go to a weight loss center and you had to pay for that. You know, so whatever you learn, you kind of learn from just doing. Or you may have saw, or they would tell you, don't eat anything fried. Don't don't eat, um, then it came, don't eat carbs. And then like with keto, you can eat fried 
food. You can eat wings with the skin on them. You just can't have those carbs like that, right? So it's like, you really kind of didn't know what was going on. And I wish I had known because had I known, I wouldn't have, you know, got this size, got that size. But had I known that, just look, eat it the best you can, treat yourself, have some, have a cookie here and there, exercise regularly, drink a lot of water, and that would have been the key. When you withhold stuff from yourself, you go on these binges. And that's kind of what I would do. And I would go through these breakups with these folk. And then I would get kind of depressed and I would overeat then. And then the weight would come back. So if I knew that, so if you don't know that and you're in this weight loss journey and you're trying to figure things out, know that whatever you're doing, whatever you start, you must keep up. Or that weight waiting around the corner for you, okay? It's waiting around the corner. Because right now, I'm gonna tell y'all, I be going through things. I told y'all in a couple videos I be going through things. And I've been eating like a farmhouse pig. Farmhouse pig. Okay? All right, moving on. And I'm working on it. Okay, number two. Stop ignoring things that bother you. You know, sometimes I'm a very sensitive person sometimes. Okay, and sometimes I'm a little bit abrasive. It depends on what you do, who you are, and how you, you know, come into my sphere, you know. But let me tell you, if something bothers you and society says it shouldn't or your family says it shouldn't, your spouse says it shouldn't, you know, if it does, it does. <laughs> it ain't gonna stop bothering you from ignoring it, Right? If it bothers you, it bothers you. You know, use a serenity prayer, you know, the things that you can change, accept the things that you can't change or whatever, you know, leave it up to God and work hard at it and go from there. But stop ignoring it. If it bothers you, it bothers you, okay? All right, number three. If it don't fit, it's okay. If it don't fit, it's okay. I have tried to make some of these raggedy relationships that I've been in work. And they have not. And had I known that it's okay if this is not a fit. It's okay if you don't like him like that. It's okay if you don't want to be with him. It's fine. I wish I knew that. I wish I knew that. I would have saved myself a lot of mess. And I probably would have been, you know, somewhere else in my uh, marital status at this point. Had I known that but if you don't know that you do not if it don't fit don't make it look what happens when you do things that don't fit when you got shoes too small that don't fit you get coins you get bunions you mess your feet up right things that don't fit when you got pants too tight you know your stomach you know that stomach sometimes that stomach be a little bit fat sometimes the stomach be a little bit fat it's okay this week the stomach is fat this week as women, we go through things. The stomach's fat this week, babe. You can't put on those, you know, trousers that you're probably going to be able to fit next week when the whole, you know, when the whole thing is over. But today, they don't fit. And if you put them on, they're going to be uncomfortable. Don't squeeze yourself into it. Don't squeeze your emotions. Don't squeeze your, your, um, your intellect. Don't squeeze anything into a box. Okay, you are meant to be free. If it don't fit, it's okay. All right, number four. Oh. Be careful who you give yourself to. Mm. There's a part of you that will be gone forever. Jesus Christ. Lord, Father God, where are my crosses? Let me tell you something. I got to put my glass on. I'm reading this again. Be careful who you give yourself to. There is a part of you that will be gone forever. You change. No one wants to tell you this. Let's talk. You change. You change after things and situations have happened to you. Now, don't get me wrong. A lot of times you change for the better. But you change for the better once you learn to accept what happened. Once you learn what you were supposed to learn from it. But that takes work on your part. Sometimes you see people that are so broken because 
They haven't gone back and healed that part. They haven't gone back and accepted that part. They haven't gone back and say, you know what? This is what I needed to get from it. I won't let it happen again. I'm moving forward and I'm moving on. You understand what I'm saying? But there's a part of you, that innocence that's gone. It's like finding out that Santa ain't real. Wasn't it nice to believe in Santa? I don't make my videos for children, so hopefully ain't no children on here. Because if I had children, my children would totally believe in Santa for as long as they could. It's such a good feeling, right? But when you don't believe in Santa anymore, things change. When you find that out, things change. Be careful. Start to be more uh, particular about who you hang around, who you give your energy to, who you give your love to, who you give your body to, who you give your advice to, who you give your money to. I can go on. You fill in the blank. Okay. All right. Number six. I think this video is going to be two parts because I don't want it to be too long. I think this video is going to be two parts. Um, so we're going to get to number eight and then we'll stop. So number six. No, number five, never stop believing seasons change. It won't always be difficult and it won't, it won't always be easy. Things change in life. They just do. They change. Nothing stays the same. And you have to understand that keep believing. If it, it winter don't happen always, um, I wish I, I got my blind thing on the other side. But, you know, it's time when you've watched me when it was winter, it was no leaves on the trees. You know, it was barren. And now I have foliage outside. I have leaves on the tree outside of my of, outside of my window. All I'm saying is. Don't get too comfortable with things being easy. And don't get too comfortable with things being hard. Everything changes. Get your lessons, move on, and learn from it. Okay. Number six. Be believe what they do, not what they say. Had I known this, especially when it comes to relationships, had I known this, I would be in a different place. I'm sitting here hoping and wishing and praying. Looking like a fool. Looking like a fool. Do you hear me? Looking like a fool. If they wanted to call you, they would have. If they wanted to be with you, they would have. I know it hurt. I know it hurt. It hurt me too to get that lesson. But get it now before you keep going and going and going and you can't find yourself no more. You know what I'm saying? You're valuable. Come on. Let's get into it. Number seven. Loving them. Ooh. Loving them more doesn't make them love you more. <laughs> Loving them more doesn't make them love you more. It doesn't. That's crazy, right? You would think it would, but it doesn't. You don't trying to get all this stuff back to that euphoric state that you were in when you first met and y'all were smitten with each other and he started switching up, changing the game, acting like he wasn't all over you and just tr talk, wait a minute, the story of my life, uh, chase you down to let you down. <laughs> chase you down to let you down. Come on. And then you realize along the way, you switch the game up. And now I'm trying to love you back into that euphoric state that never comes back again. Because the intention is what that person wasn't all the way right. You cannot love somebody more to get them to love you more. You can't be nicer and expect them to be nicer. It don't go. Okay. Love people genuinely from your heart. Give genuinely from your heart. And um, because it's in your heart. Not because you're expecting that same thing from that person. Because when you don't get it, it's a level of disappointment that takes you down into the delta, down into the mud, into the quick sand. Okay? All right. Please get that lesson. All right. Number... Eight, and then I'm going to stop it here, and then we're going to go into part two next week. 
Number eight. Oh, and just so y'all know, part two will be taped right after this. And part two will have on the same outfit. Don't judge me because I ain't changing. Okay? I ain't changing. That's just what it is. I don't feel like it today. Okay, so number eight. Some people just don't want to like you. As amazing, as brilliant, as talented, as gifted, as pretty, as smart, as generous, as loving, as caring as you are, they don't want to like you, baby. They don't. Because they're not generous, loving, pretty, caring. Come on. You know. Y'all my tribe. Y'all know. You got one. You got one in there. One one in the midst. Somewhere around you. Some little whatever. Some little co-worker. Some, some little person at the gym. <sighs> somebody at the grocery store who you see all the time. Okay. okay. I don't know where that voice came from. <laughs> Look, they don't want to like you. They just don't want to. They, they just don't want to like you. And that's okay. Don't go nowhere. We ain't no applause, baby. Unless God sent you there. Okay. All right, y'all. That's it. That's all I got today. I That was one through eight. We're going to have nine through whatever in a couple uh, next week. And we'll get it. We'll get it from there. So this is what I wish I knew part one. Please share this video. Please share this video. I know something in here resonated with somebody somewhere, somehow. All right, y'all. I love y'all. So follow me on the gram. I'll list my gram down below. Remember, ain't nobody better than you. You deserve the best out of life. Don't forget to uh, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Remember, I hope, well, yeah, um, my spiel. I hope this message has inspired you. I hope this message finds you blessed. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Ah, ah. And I'll see you all in my next video. Please put the comments down below. Let me know. Love y'all. See you.